Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I'm a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be discussing the using the Affirmix dashboard learning byte. All right, so here's our example. We have the topology on the left. We have four physical nodes. We have the Affirmix controller. We have the OpenStack node that acts as uh, the OpenStack controller, the Contrail controller. It's got the SDN controller functions. And then we have the Compute1 and Compute2 nodes. Uh, both the Compute1 and Compute2 nodes run the vRouter Contrail component. So this is a Contrail fabric, and they house VMs. Now we're going to use the dashboard in a way to troubleshoot issues. We're going to examine the dashboard for potential issues, and then we're going to investigate those potential issues and fix any potential issues that we find. Let's go ahead and jump to the AppFormX GUI and see what we can find. All right, here is the AppFormX dashboard. We are currently in the infrastructure view in the navigation bar, and we see a few different things. We see the management infrastructure, physical infrastructure, and virtual infrastructure sections. And you may notice right away, we do have some problems. Under the physical infrastructure section, we can see that there's one node that is bad and at risk, so the health is bad, then it's the risk status is at risk, that's not good. Then under virtual infrastructure, we see that there's five instances that are shown as bad and five that show at risk. Again, not what we really want. So let's kind of look at these. First, let's look at the actual physical host. Now with this, we can click on the different sections. We can click the good section, see which hosts are good. We have AffirmX, OpenStack, Compute2. So that leaves us with Compute1. We select the at risk section. We can see that Compute1 has a missed heartbeat. So the health is bad, the risk is set to at risk. And it's gonna show the same thing if we click the bad section as well. And so we know that there seems to be a problem with Compute1. Now we can do that with the virtual infrastructure under instances. We can select good. We can see we got five good. We can select the bad and we can see there are five that have a health status of bad and a risk status of at risk. And all of them say missed heartbeat. This sounds like a communication issue. So with that, let's, let's click on compute one under the physical infrastructure section. And we're taken to compute one under the dashboard. And we can see some information. We can see that first we are not reporting any statistics. We were reporting statistics. We can see some under memory usage, host CPU usage metrics. We can see some statistics there, but we're not really reporting anything. That's That definitely is an indicative of a communication issue. And also, if you look, look at all the instances, the C-C1-1, the C-C1-2, and whatnot. Those are all the instances that are having that heartbeat failure as well. So this seems like a communication issue. So how about we log into the app from X CLI and see if we can communicate. All right, so here is the app from X CLI. Let's go ahead and attempt to ping compute one. And that looks pretty good. That is compute one's IP address. We can ping it with the host name. So things seem like they're working pretty good here, but let's Take this a step further and see if we can ping the app from X controller that is from Compute One. All right, so here is Compute One. Let's try to ping app from X using this host name. And oh, there's a problem there. Let's try to ping. I think it's 101. We can ping it by IP address, but not by the host name. And that is a requirement that communication must happen both ways between the AppFormX controller and the other nodes in the cluster needs to happen through some sort of name resolution, be it through the host file or through a DNS server. And so let's check out the host file. And we can see that we do have an entry for AppFormX, but it is commented out. And so that's that might be what's happening here. So let's remove that, save that file. And this will take a little bit of time. There'll need to be some heartbeat exchanges, but the node will come back up in the app from XGUI, compute one that is. So let's go back to the dashboard, the dashboard for the infrastructure that is. And we can see here that things still don't look too great, but we got to give it about five minutes. It takes about a good five minutes for uh, the state to change in this regard. So let's go ahead and what, what I'll do is I'll pause the video for about five minutes, and then after that, after it comes back, we'll resume the video. All right, so now we're back, and we can see that the hosts and the physical infrastructure, everything looks good. We can click on that. We can see that Compute2 is good. 
Uh, nothing's at risk. And we can see that the instances, the 10 instances, all of them are there. All of them look good. Things look good. So we fixed that problem and we use the dashboard to take a quick glance at our network and view the problem and start the troubleshooting process. So that brings us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we discussed how to use the Affirmex dashboard and demonstrated how to troubleshoot issues using the dashboard. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.